Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to explain part 28 of new Selenium IDE. That is how to use assert not text command in Selenium IDE. Selenium IDE has a huge list of commands and assert not text command is one of them. So what is the purpose of this assert not text command in Selenium IDE? So the purpose is to check whether the given whether a particular text is not available on the UI element of the application. Okay. So here we are checking something to not be available on the application on the UI element. Okay. So the purpose of the assert not text command in Selenium ID is to check whether a particular text is not available on the UI element. You are checking that the, the text is not there on the UI element. If it is not there, the test will pass. If this text is there on the application on the UI element of the application, then it will fail. Guys. Okay. So it simply is an opposite of assert text command, which I have explained in the previous video. Right? One of the previous videos I, I demonstrated how to use assert text command in selenium id so assert not text is a direct opposite of this assert text command assert text checks whether the expected text is there on the ui element or not but here something opposite is going on that is assert not text is checking whether the text is not available on the ui element or not okay if the text is available the text will fail if the text is text is not available the text test will pass okay so that's how it is different guys other than that, everything is same. Okay. Both are hard assertions, guys. Both are hard assertions only because assert, wherever you see an assert wording, that means it is an hard assertion. Okay. Hard assertion. So the steps followed by this uh, failure step of containing this assert not text will not execute. Okay. Will not be executed. Okay. I will explain you that in detail in a practical way, anyhow. Okay. Let me. Let me practically demonstrate how to use assert not text command in Selenium ID now. Open this browser. Go to a sample application like this. Let's say there is a button here and uh, there's some text button too. And I, I want to check whether a particular text is not there on this button. Uh, button. Let's say some XYZ text is not there on this button. That is true, right? Uh, it's not there. That means the text will pass. Okay, if it is not there, if the, if the given text in Selenium ID is not there on this particular button, then the test will pass. Okay, fine. So now let me open Selenium ID from here. Uh, the Selenium ID got launched here. Select the third option, create a new project here. Give something like uh, give a project name that is PFOX. Click on OK. Select this row, guys, and uh, here type the command, open command, and say forward slash. Okay before doing anything we have to open the application so we have to use a command known as open command in selenium id uh, with this base uh, base url okay this stands for base url of the application so this open command will open the base url of the application here okay now the second step i'm going to use something uh, something nothing but assert not text okay assert not text command and uh, if you go to the reference by selecting this second row, having this assert not text command, if you click on this reference, you will get the documentation on how to use this command. Okay. So this is a command. And uh, as you can see, there is some text here in the third value box. Okay. Let's say I give some X, Y, Z. This is a text that should not be there on this button. guys. Okay. So in order to locate this button, we have to give the locator of this button. Okay. If you inspect this button, as you can see, there is some ID. Copy this id is equal to utd okay so this is the locator and also guys this xyz will be compared with this uh, will be matched with this uh, okay will be checked against this uh, text between the starting and ending button tags okay if there is no text between this uh, starting and ending tags then assert not text will not function guys okay assert not text command will check whether the given text is not there in between the tags of this uh, UI element, okay? In between the starting and ending tags of the UI element, if there is some text, it will check whether this particular text is not there in between this uh, tags, okay? That's what it will do. So now if I run this, 
the test will pass because I have given X, Y, Z and X, Y, Z is not there here. Okay, X, Y, Z is not there in between these tags. So the test will pass. Let me run this. Copy this. It's asking for the base URL of the application. Uh, I gave that and I clicked on start playback. Fine, it's executing now. Okay, so it's opening the application now and uh, it will pass because X, Y, Z text is not there uh, in that button. So still loading. Observe that this particular step got passed. Okay, that means this given X Y Z text is not there on this uh, in between the tags of this particular button. Okay, fine. Now what if I give the exact text? Okay, that is button two. So button two is there on this button, right? As you can see, this button two text is there between these tags. It's matching. That means, but we are checking for it should not be there, but it is there. That means this particular test step will fail now. Okay, let me run this and see that since this button to text is there on the button between the tags of that particular button, this particular step will fail now. The assertion will fail. You see? The assert not text command got failed because this button to text is there in the in between the starting and ending tags of this particular button. That's why it got failed. What if there is a failure and I have another step? Okay, you have some steps after this fail failed step. There are some steps. Will this Selenium ID execute this close close command or not? The answer is no, guys. Because assert assertion commands are hard assertions. That means if something fails in hard assertions okay if this asset commands fails okay they will stop the complete text execution they will not allow you to continue the execution okay so asset not text command when it fails it will not continue guys because asset means asset in this no asset not text command is nothing but hard assertion and it will stop the execution there itself the steps which are following this failed step will not be executed okay the execution will stop at the failure itself let me run this and practically show you that if there is a failure, the close command will not be executed. Okay, you can see that now. You see, guys, this step two having this assert not text got failed as this assert as this is an assertion and it got failed. It is an a hard assertion type, and the step which is following this step two didn't get executed. It's, okay, didn't get executed because the execution stopped here itself. In the second step over itself, the execution has stopped. Okay, this is what the hard assertion will look like. Okay, this is a hard assertion. Fine. <clears throat> so, so this is how we have to use assert not text command in Selenium ID, guys. In the next video, I'll explain verify not text command in Selenium ID. So that's it, guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.